in the warm embrace of the Adriatic Sea and the magnificent Lake Skadar. Among a hundred thousand olive trees, on sandy beaches with a view of rocky mountains, alongside the roads of famous rulers, through the scents of chestnut woods, herbs and citrus trees, at the dining tables of good hosts, with the taste of the extraordinary wine from the Tsimnitsa region, with sun-drenched mornings and peaceful sunsets, Discover a place to rest all your senses. The area of Bar is located in the southeastern region of Montenegro, in one of the sunniest corners of the Mediterranean. It is connected with the countries of the region through regular road, rail and maritime routes. And it is located around 50 kilometers from the international airports in Podgorica and Tivat. Bar is an enchanting play of contrasts. The Riviera makes its living through tourist spots, the vast marina, flower-hemmed promenades and streets, a modern sports arena, various restaurants and hotels. When it comes to the lake, there are numerous stories about the pearls of the national park, old bridges, vaults and cellars, the wells in Ostros, the authentic architecture of the village of Godinje, Tsimnitsa's vineyards and the widely famed wine. Bar's hinterland has sporadic wooded and arable regions, favourable for growing fruit and vegetables, and producing homemade juices, cheese and olive oil. Bar's multicultural mosaic is an inspiration and of incalculable significance. The present does not exclude the past and it is progressing at a steady pace with the help of culture, tourism and sport. History recognises the area of Bar as the political, commercial, cultural and spiritual centre of the region. The influence of various civilizations and cultures is noticeable even today at every step. The traces of the past can be followed from the centre of the town and the remnants of the Triconch Basilica dating back to the 6th century to the Benedictine Abbey which was built in the 9th century on the Cape of Ratats and all the way to the Prechista Krajinska Monastery near Ostros. This, the biggest and oldest sanctuary on Lake Skada, from the beginning of the 11th century was erected by Prince Vladimir. The life of Prince Vladimir is a story of bravery and suffering as well as the eternal love and loyalty of his beautiful wife Kosara. The development of this area can also be followed through passages from the Chronicle of Bar, arising from the 12th century. The medieval monasteries of Beshka, Starchevo and Moračnik, centers of spirituality and creativity, were erected on the lake's islands. Not far from the emerald green waters of the lake is the monastery of Doni Brceli, dating back to the 15th century, and the monastery of Gorni Brceli from the 18th as well as other centuries-old sacred places. Four kilometers from the seashore, history can be seen in the rocks and vegetation, starting from the Illyrian period, through the period of the Roman Empire, the old Slavonic administration, and Venetian and Ottoman rule, the old town of Bar has gone through fascinating changes. Its inhabitants long ago stopped walking along those streets. Now it is only visitors, walking slowly and trying to capture a part of the former might and timeless beauty with their camera lenses. This glorious town keeps some millennia old secrets. The religious inhabitants, rulers and builders left behind some distinct creations. The Omobashica and Skanjevica mosques, St. Takla's church which has both Orthodox and Catholic altars, as well as many other religious structures. Bar is the seat of the oldest religious and administrative institution in Montenegro, the Archdiocese of Bar. The turbulent centuries have also left their mark, unpredictable and mystical, on the region, such as the Besats Fortress close to Virpazar, Grmozhur on one of the lake's islands, and the medieval Nehai Fortress above the sea. A magnificent building, located only a few steps away from the sea, was erected in the 19th century. Nowadays, this building, King Nicholas Castle, houses the Bar Homeland Museum. Bar is made up of stories which have been passed from generation to generation, a small railway train of great importance is mentioned in one of these stories. Right up until the middle of the last century, it transferred passengers from Bar to Virpazar over the untouched mountain ranges. More than 2,240 years are woven into the branches of the old olive at Mirovica. Each year, during the children's festival Meetings Under the Old Olive, youngsters present it with new poems and works of art. 
The Chronicle of Dioclea is an event which cherishes and promotes cultural values. Bar is the host town of the International TV Festival. With its positive energy, the Summer with the Stars event brings an air of freshness to the sultry nights on the Bar Promenade. Its concerts are held in high spirits and attended by a selected group of people. The coastline makes twists and turns along its 46 kilometres. Beaches make up 9 kilometres of the coastline. The Queen's Beach is only accessible by boat. Chine is known as the Pearl Shore. Maljevic is distinctive for its clear water and thick pine forest. Sutomore is characterised by being calm in May, warm in June, hot in July and August and for having mild autumn days on the fine sand. Edged by pine trees, Shushan's gravel beach connects hidden ravines to the comfortable city beach. Red Rock Beach is both wild and romantic. The popular Veliki Piesak and Utjeka beaches are connected through their interplay of vivid colours. The municipality of Bar encompasses six tourist locations Utjeka, Dobrevoda, Bar, Sutomore, Chain, and Virpazar, a small town on Lake Skada. Lake Skada, the largest lake in the Balkans, has been protected with national park status since 1983. It is the habitat for around 280 bird species and over 50 fish species. The picturesque lake scenery is covered with all shades of green. Spread over around 65 kilometers of shoreline, it opens up inspiring views. The beaches of Murici and Piaschacats and the lake's islands of small fishing villages particularly stand out. You can get to know the lake's gentle landscapes by taking a boat cruise, walking and exploring the nearby villages and their interesting architecture and rich heritage. All the roads in this area lead to Virpazar, a small town with three bridges. From here you can embark on lake adventures and you may find a place to relax and mingle while drinking the famous wines from the Tsimlitsha region. People from Bar are hardworking and hospitable and know best that differences do not have to be obstacles. They gladly welcome tourists, offering them the best from their tradition Local specialties are predominant on the menus of restaurants. Savoury and sweet flavours, Mediterranean and Middle Eastern, freshly picked and handmade foods intertwine, along with the unmissable olive oil from Bar. The richness of chestnut forests and their tempting fruits can be best tasted at the Chestnut Festival in Ostros. The Olive Festival provides an air of merriment, along with the art of preparing traditional dishes. The dishes at the Wine and Bleak Festival in Virpazar are also diverse and aromatic. Bar is subtly unique. It is spread over two magical shorelines, with summer and winter festivals, clear dawns and evenings, during which everything becomes possible and more beautiful.